So a little bit ago, I made a video on the Steam Deck, and I was talking about why I would not particularly want a device like this. Well, a buddy of mine saw my video, and he told me that he had ordered the Steam Deck, and if I wanted to play around with it for a little bit, he would let me borrow it. I could play around with it, test everything out, and find out if my opinions change. And after having this for a little over a week, I have learned a lot about it, and there are a lot of things that I have to say. However, this video is not about my opinions on the Steam Deck. The first thing I did when I got this thing was I took out the 64GB chip and replaced it with a 512 SSD. It was very easy to do and it's definitely something you want to consider if you don't want to pay the top tier price. So if you're interested in knowing how to do this, let's begin. What you'll need for this project is a Steam Deck, a computer, and a USB thumbstick that either has a USB-C adapter or you can even use a USB-C thumbstick if you have one. First things first, we want to make sure to power off the Steam Deck. There are eight screws on the back of the deck. The four on the outside are longer, and the four on the inside are where the shorter screws go. This will help for when you're putting it back together. Once the screws are removed, you'll want to grab a plastic seam splitter or even an old credit card will work. Don't use a metal flathead or a knife because you'll scratch up your steam deck if you use metal. Once the back of the steam deck has been removed, there's one more metal sheet that you need to get out of there. There are four screws that secure this to the deck, one of which is hiding under this sticker. Peel back the sticker, but don't remove it completely. You'll want to lay that back down when you're done. Once that's out of there, you'll want to unplug the battery. This step might take time. Don't try to force it. Just work with it slowly until it's ready to be pulled out. Once the battery is removed, you should press the power button a few times to really make sure that any residual energy is drained from the device. You definitely do not want to be hot swapping SSDs. After that, go ahead and unscrew the 64GB chip and take the shielding off of it. Place the shielding onto your new SSD, seat it, and screw it into place. After that, you just need to rebuild the deck. Plug the battery back in, pop that metal shield back on, pop the back of the deck into place, and screw the eight screws back into it. After it's back together, you're almost done. Go to your computer and head to this link. You're going to want to download the Steam Deck firmware tool. You're also going to want to use a program called Rufus to install the firmware to your drive. Before you do this, you're going to want to make sure your thumbstick is formatted to GPT. Open Rufus, select your Steam Deck firmware file, and let the program do its job. Once it's complete, take the USB-C thumbstick and plug it into the Steam Deck. Hold the power button and the minus button at the same time until you hear the deck turn on. Once you hear the startup beep, let go of the power button but keep holding the minus button until you enter the BIOS. Once there, you can flash the OS. This will take about 5 minutes or so and once it's done, your Steam Deck will start up as though it's a brand new unit. Once you're done, you may want to go into the settings and make sure the device is showing all of the usable internal storage. This process took about 20 minutes to do, and I promise you anyone can do it. Valve made it extremely easy to upgrade this system, and we even have a list of parts that we can replace. iFixit has a whole list of parts they're selling for the Steam Deck. You can replace the thumbsticks, the whole ass motherboard, iFixit even sells the anti-glare screen so you can buy the cheapest Steam Deck, get a 512GB SSD, buy the anti-glare screen, and you have the top tier deck. I'm really glad they made the Steam Deck so upgradable. 64GB is simply not enough space for a handheld Steam console. I hope this video was helpful, and I'll be seeing you soon to let you know what I think about this thing.